Howdy gentle humans, it's me Diana at Slow Gaze. It's been a while, I know. <laughs> I came back to you um, today to share a partnership with Merit Beauty and more on that in a second. I just wanted to say hi, hello, I missed you. I have some philosophy bits, I have some, I don't know, just a little bit of musing, but for sure I also just wanted to show you this makeup look, which is like the basest of base makeup looks because they're like five products and they all happen to be from Merit Beauty. So just know that I'm partnering with them for not only this video but for a couple subsequent videos just featuring like the base set from Merit today. So just know that you also get like their signature bag which is that really cute ochre colored like corduroy bag. It's like a little tie top. Um, I have mine in the other room. I don't know why I didn't bring it but just know that you get their signature bag when you make like your first order off meritbeauty.com's like website instead of shopping through Sephora or whatever. And I found so many uses for it. I actually, I literally travel with it everywhere. Ben and I went to Copenhagen and Paris and Amsterdam and Belgium this past spring. And you can see a little bit about it on my um, Instagram. I took that bag with me, the signature Merit bag, because I wasn't putting makeup in it. I find that the like tie top really allows it to be both big and small at the same time. Um, so I was keeping underwear in it or just like small goods all together. Yeah, so just know that you can always shop from Merit Beauty and you'll get a free like signature bag with your first purchase. If you wanted to support me like specifically for any reason, I do have like a little link down below that you can shop through and I'll get a little affiliate kickback for. No pressure, seriously. Let's get on with it. I'm really glad to be back. It's been a while, I know, and I have been trying to remember how to do this. So if the editing of this like comes out a little wonky, just know it's because I feel like it's my first time back at the rodeo. Starting off with this new formulation of the Merit um, foundation slash concealer stick. It is in the shade Ochre. I've had this before, but it was the older formulation. I know they revisited this because there wasn't a lot of product compared to some other like competitors on the market. I'll be very transparent with you, even though I really liked it and it, it fell out one of the first few times that I used it. Like the product literally jumped out. Um, I am going in with like the slightest of hands, like literally just dabbing. I just got this in the mail, um, but I know that I really, really love this product. I just didn't have the latest one in the right shade. I had a lighter shade. I forgot get it. I think it was Ecru because I was looking for the ones that were a little bit more yellow based. Ecru was a little lighter and I have since decluttered her so I can't do like a comparison but and now I'm using the Merit brush like the one that they have. It's that angled really dense brush. It's an award winner for a reason. I know it sounds so cheesy but it is so good. I think this is probably one of my most used brushes. It's better than the Westman Atelier one. I think I've talked about this. Their main like big blender one. I like this more because A, it's more affordable. I think it's like a $30 brush compared to like an $80 brush. But somehow the density and the ability to just kind of smash it into your face gently, but it's like contoured for your face. Um, is something that I really like. That was that. Was that. that was really quick. Um, I really love how this operates with pretty much any product. I go in mostly with wet products though. I use this for any other like foundation-y color cosmetic that I'm using. Really love this brush. That's probably my favorite piece of Merit's, honestly. I don't have any other makeup on right now. I also have two of Merit's. Okay, these are the two that I have on hand. I have Bounce, which is this creamy pearl, like the white iridescent looking one. Um, and honestly, I think it's quite similar to the next one in my hand, which is Bounce. So this is Kava and this is Bounce. You literally almost can't tell the difference, um, except that I've just been using Bounce a lot. I do think that Kava has a little bit more like metallic foiling just because of the white base. And if you're more into just like a true glassy translucency, don't let this pink center kind of scare you. It, it is fleshy looking. 
um, but it's I find that it's more universal and I really really love this one so I think I'm gonna stick with this one today and I just rubbed it on my hands yes I am gonna go in with the like high points of my cheeks but I can I find myself sometimes just patting it on and of course you can just do the top of your cheek I find that it does make it more believable just to like go almost a little ham on other parts of your face just to make everything kind of look like oh it's just your skin but a little bit more you can use a finger here I'm gonna just try the brush because why not um, yeah you can get closer to a little like sweaty greasy look if you wanted uh, but I don't mind it it's that really nice feeling that especially going into winter that I feel fresh and hydrated and that it's still summertime and there's a little you know humidity in the air that's fine I want a little bit more definition and structure and so that I can either get it from bronzer I also have Merit's new um newly packaged like flush balm I think is what it's called yes this is what I was thinking of before I've had terracotta before but I was really interested to see what it looked like next to their um, bronze balm. Like these I think are actually very kindred in formulation. I think these two are actually like inspired by each other and are very similar in the sheerness and the delivery system. I do like things in a little longer stick. It's just easier to carry, but I'm not mad at this. And you can see that this terracotta shade I was using as like bronzer blush next to the coolness of clay, which is what I'll be showing you today. Because actually I don't usually go in for blush anymore. I know, who am I? I've made my decision. I made a line in the sand. I stuck my flag somewhere. I decided a bronzer or blush. I would choose bronzer every day. And so this is an interesting like product especially when you see it on social media it's really focused on kind of the high points rather than the low points I'm not too mad at that and no I'm not going to kind of like try to sculpt my nose I'm actually trying to redefine beauty for myself and like realize what it means for me to feel confident in the world and to feel like I love myself and love how I look and a big part of that is actually not looking traditionally feminine. A way that like shows off like a lot of color. I don't wear blush anymore pretty much. And I've really stuck to colors that deepen my skin, make me feel like I am bronzed, that I've been out in the sun. It's more like an outdoorsy, healthy look. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack about that, but I just wanted to let you know that bronzer is a huge part of my like makeup bag and my life nowadays. You don't have to use both this balm and the highlighting balm. You don't have to use both because I found that this is so like dewy and so bouncy. Um, it really almost feels like, yeah, it feels like a serum -y mist in a bottle that also has highlighter. Just gonna spread the rest on my eyelids. So again, it's just melting into the skin and it just makes me feel really like, healthy and young <laughs> there you are that that's that's it I want to look healthy and young used to I did not want to look young I wanted to look older I still think I look pretty young for my age um but I like to have that balance of like feeling young feeling rejuvenated and it's not about youth necessarily but it is about like a freshness I have a lot of texture on my skin I have a lot of stuff going on I still have adult acne, I'm still really oily skinned, but I've just come to realize that I don't need a lot. I have a lot to focus on outside of makeup in terms of clothing and how I treat people and my actions. It's not just makeup, you know? It's like that is all part of my presentation, so I need to take a little bit less from the makeup bucket, that portion, and like reproportion it to other parts of my presentation because my presentation is still very important to me but yeah so that's like this is mainly it I can show you what it looks like with a little bit more of like color if you want but to be honest this is where I usually land I'm gonna put a little bit of lip product on just because I have it you can buy this stuff in Sephora but they have like sets on the Merit Beauty website 
And this isn't part of the base set. However, I think it really goes with this like juicy, lived in, almost like athletic, full on drenched water world kind of look. This is the Bel Air Tinted Lip Oil, which really doesn't have much of a tint at all, but it has that really micro fine kind of glitter glow that is again, like sunshine in a bottle. Okay, there you have it. It's like very, very glowy, like to the point where it just feels completely glassy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with glassy and not quite sweaty, but wow how fresh I feel and how fresh I look, especially with like a little bit of lip tint, lip brightness, if you will. Um, I'm balancing that, especially when I'm wearing darker colors. I really want to look, look less somber and kind of aloof. I want to look bright and shiny, like a little pearl. So that's honestly what I use. So I have my like handy dandy, trusty, everyday makeup bag. I always start with some sunscreen. I always start with a little bit of concealer. Like I was talking to you about this ochre, the minimalist perfecting complexion stick. And it is pretty seamless. I like how weightless it is, but it really packs a punch. Um, and I love that this has been reformulated to like not fall out of the component and have just more product. I think this really stands up to the Westman Atelier stuff now. Now that I found my color and now again with the reformulation and all that, I like how slim it is. I like that I don't have to use my finger like in a pot. So this really stands out to me as a product that I would recommend um, and repurchase myself. Merit's brush also, these two are probably high up my, on my list. My third, if I had to choose like the top three Merit products that I personally love, the third is, has got to be this highlighting balm, the color bounce again, but they recently sent me the shade Kaba that I want to dig into. It just looks like packaged moonlight. And yeah, these three are like my holy grails from Merit. I also use their brow pomade, their 1980 like giant fluffy black brown volumizing pomade every day. Every single day, I can't get away from it. This is better than the Glossier stuff. And you know what? I don't know if I'll continue using like this bronze balm into winter. We'll see, especially with the terracotta. Like this is just the extra step. If I want to feel like my whole like complexion is plump and juicy and youthful, yeah, this is kind of the main set. So this is what this is what I've got going on. It's so minimal. And then usually I have my comb in here and that's it. It's really stripped back from what I used to have. I can't believe it, like how far I've come, but it's not always just about products, right? You have to find products that work for you. You have to find products that like work really hard for you. It's not a matter of just like, oh yeah, this is this is nice. When you find something that you really love, but it also works hard and it lasts forever and you enjoy picking it up every day, like that's a sweet spot. Of course, there's also like the ethics and how you feel about the creator and the people who are behind the research and development of this product and all of that jazz. Like there's a lot to unpack, but um, you know, I'm pretty happy with this where I am. So there's the products, <laughs> there's like kind of your outlook, there's definitely your lifestyle and your philosophy. Like I, I want to hear more on YouTube about like makeup philosophy and why we even wear makeup and what's going on behind the scenes in our heads about presentation. So folks, that's basically it for my rant today. I know it's a shorter one than some of my other videos, but I will be following up with not only more partnership opportunities with Merit, but also just easing back into it. Let me just put it that way. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, but also I, I feel like I should be giving myself space and not like filling that space with guilt for not being on YouTube so much. Um, I will be honest, like having a partnership really did like reignite my feeling of purpose for coming back on here. And now that I'm here, I'm like really glad that I did. This is such a great outlet for me creatively and it helps me connect with you and it makes me feel more, I guess, in my skin because <laughs> I get to discuss almost with myself and with you. <laughs> all of the things that are in my head. There's no way that this one video is going to like change the system, but I want to be really conscious about what messaging I'm putting out, what partnerships I'm putting out into the world. 
and just open the conversation, like open the door so that it can come in if it wants to, but it doesn't have to. And I just wanna acknowledge, you know, when I'm putting out content about beauty, it is undoubtedly tied to values, tied to how I was raised and how we're all thinking about value. And we typically value things that are more beautiful, but it also means that we value people that are more beautiful. And I wanna be a little bit more careful about that message. Putting so much value on something that looks beautiful doesn't jive with me, especially anymore when, when now, you know, I've been on YouTube for, I don't know, two years or so. And I started off really just like in a consumerist mindset. Back then, just two years ago, I was really into like products and product reviews and how to like break into the YouTube scene and feel like I'm, you know, making a difference and reviews really do help. I find like I still look up and watch beauty YouTube because I want to know what brands are coming out with and what's new and exciting. And I definitely thought of makeup as like entertainment. Nowadays, I like to get into that kind of mode of like, what does this all mean? <laughs> but just know that I've been thinking a lot about it. And part of it means like part of my new like found, this is just my makeup bag. And yeah, this is probably still more makeup than someone else wears, but that's okay. Like I'm in my lane. So I wanted to say adieu to you and that I will see you again next time. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad to be back and I will see you on the next video. Adios.